Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy Reynolds here with Mr. Trevor Bryans, here to help you, our clients and our viewers, solve your financial problems. But it all starts with about talking about the problems, but then linking towards a solution. So if you've, if you've read any of the major pub financial publications in the last week, if you've been on the internet, if you've been uh, on your computer or watched television, you've most likely uh, seen at least something talking about interest rates, but more importantly, what's being discussed is whether or not interest rates are going to go up, go down, or stay the same. Now, the bigger issue is we, can, we can't as finance professionals, and if we could predict, predict the future, and if we had the expertise to do that, uh, we would really be, it would, we'd have a, a virtual crystal ball, but we don't. So what we need to look at here, despite what people may be saying about rates going up, going down, staying the same, because we can't predict uncertainties and we have to deal with those things which are completely measurable, we need to create a platform for you, our clients, for you homeowners, investment property owners, where we can look at how do we actually manage the risks for whatever they are. So if something does happen, how do we help with that? So the risk that we're going to be talking about today is interest rates. And the question that's been posed and asked by so many people is, what if interest rates do go up? How can I, as a homeowner, how can I, as someone that's got an investment property or more than one property or looking at entering the market right now, how do I actually make sure I've, I've taken the right actions to minimise the impact on my financial situation, on my, on my livelihood, if rates do go up? Now, we've got, a, we've got a number of strategies for this, and I'm here with Trevor Bryans to help discuss these. So... First of all, if you'd like to echo the points that I made, first of all, Trevor, can, can we accurately assume whether rates are going to go up or not? Thanks, thanks Jeremy. Um, the short-term answer to that is that we cannot, with any degree of certainty, guarantee what rate movements are going to be, and neither can anybody else. Um, it really is a case of trying to guess the future. There are a number of indicators that the experts look at, what's happening overseas and what the economic climate is within the Australia itself. Now, if you look overseas, you've got situations where England, for example, have recently raised their rates. You've got the US, Canada talking about doing so, and there's some uncertainty even in those countries. Now, being a global economic climate as it is these days, those sort of decisions made by overseas countries will affect what happens here. Uh, what can happen here? Uh, you look at employment, for example, unemployment rates, uh, inflation, which has been under control for a number of years now. And we've had the certainty in the past of rates being at record lows. Whether that happens to continue, no one really knows. And that's is the honest truth about the situation. So will it happen? Probably not, if you ask me, my personal opinion, within the next three to six months. Beyond that, it is quite possible. Um, I reserve that because we really don't know exactly what's going to happen here in the future, let alone what's going to happen in the rest of the world in the next six to 12 months. So reasonable stability which gives you sufficient time to look at your own individual circumstances. And I think that's what people have got to be doing now. Great, and that, that's a key point, individual circumstances. So we can look at, uh, and you can get overwhelmed, and I'm, I'm sure some of you, you have been, by looking at what, what's looking at an economic uh, perspective, changes in, in different markets, and then thinking, well, should I take action? Should I not take action? Should I do nothing? And most likely, with, with the wrong advice, you could either do the wrong thing, or most people who are not getting any advice apart from what they see uh, in publications or in the media, actually withdraw and say, I'm not gonna do anything. Doing, doing nothing is going to be the best solution. But what I wanna 
make clear to you, having a goal goal based approach with you, with your broker, your financial planner, and your accountant, tax agent as well, combined through a holistic view through uh, Alpha Home Loans, Alpha Finance Solutions, and Fab Tax, we can actually make best with the with the current market linking towards a strategy to help achieve the goals that you would like to achieve and make them realistic as well. So yes, we can't predict the market and nor should we be, it's dangerous if you're, head, if you're holding onto the advice making bold decisions based on a, a prediction which may or may not be wrong. But what we can do is we can manage the risk. Managing the risk meaning that we can say whether the risk, whether the interest rates go up or whether they go up by a little or a lot, we can do different things. So we can. Do, so now might be a great time to talk about managing the risk for a client with their home loan. So we've got Mr. and Mrs. Client with a home loan, and they're currently looking at reviewing their loan because we can. We should be reviewing it every twelve to. 24 months anyway to see if it's competitive and if it's set up correctly as well. And, we're, and having a talk to them about fixing. Okay, the, the thanks for that. I suppose the first thing that the average householder will s say to themselves is, are they referring to me or is it just everybody else in the world? Okay, am I at risk if interest rates rise? How do I know? Okay, the simplest and easiest way that anyone can achieve this, look at your bank statements. Are your savings increasing, decreasing, or staying the same? Now, if they're staying the same or reducing, then yes, you are at risk. Um, if you're saving money and you have some surplus cash flow, then you may be able to delay the decision and, and cover one, maybe two, rate rises. But everyone, particularly those that are deemed at risk, by that I mean, yes, you might be covering all of your expenses now, but there's nothing left over. They're the people who are going to be most at risk when rates even just start to increase, payments will go up, and you're then going to be in a negative cash flow type of situation. So they're the people who should perhaps act now and contact their broker, their accountant and find out what can be done. Great. So, we've got to, let's break this down because we've got a strategy which can work for many people and again, just as a side note, this is for training and education purposes for your individual circumstances. Uh, should be taken into consideration and to have that looked at, we can do that on an individual basis. But if with a change in the... So let, let's hypothetically say rates are potentially going up. Okay. okay. And now we've got a client that's coming in for a refinance. You found that you're looking at... Uh, they're, they're paying a bit too much on the interest rate at the moment, for one thing. And the question comes up, and for you, and they go, well, and, and we're looking at the things, should they fix or should they stay variable? How can this be a risk mitigant? Okay, well, it, it certainly can mitigate the risk of repayments going up. Now, interest rates are, are one thing. What is really of importance to the average householder is not the interest rate itself, but it's the amount of dollars and cents that's leaving your pocket or purse. So what you might find is that yes, you're managing currently, you're on a variable rate, and you think everything is fine. What happens if that variable rate goes up, say half a percent over the next six to 12 months, and you find yourself paying an extra two, three hundred dollars or even more per month? Can you afford it? And what can you do to alleviate that or to ensure that it doesn't happen, okay? You've got fixed rates. Now, this is different to an interest-only type loan, which we've talked about in the past. They are still principal and interest loans, but what you are doing with a fixed rate is you select a term of your period, say one to five years, 
an average might be say three year period and the bank will offer you a rate which is guaranteed to not change during that period of time. Now currently with a number of lenders, if you looked at say a three year fixed rate, you're getting low 4% interest rates, maybe one or two, slightly under the 4%, but certainly below fours, four to 4.2, 4.25 thereabouts. Now, what you can do with that is you can maybe look at consolidating some of your other minor debts. Maybe you've got a bit too much on your credit card. Maybe there's a new car loan or something which can be rolled into a lower rate loan over a longer period of time with a fixed interest rate. Now, what that means is that you know exactly what your monthly commitment is it's within your ability to service on your current level of income and you know that for that selected period of time the repayments are not going to change. So that gives you the certainty of knowing that your position is relatively safe, all right, at least for the first three years or the period selected, but you know that your payments are not going to change irrespective of what may happen in the future. Fantastic. So there was a key word there, creating certainty. Now, not all things in life we can create certainty with, but this with the interest rate and your, your payments, we, we certainly can. What I'd like to also link this with, if we're looking at a risk, so a risk in itself, we're looking at the rising or prevailing interest rates as the risk of topic here. A risk is anything of uncertainty that can have a potential negative consequence. The severity of, of that consequence would also determine or the impact of that, the type of risk it is. So how do we manage a risk? Well, we remove it if we can. We can't remove this risk, so we manage it by creating as much certainties as we can. Now, also, and let's just break down a little bit of the things that you said there. Uh, in, there's a lot of people that, that have, have never had a, had a fixed rate bef before, uh, namely because of the time they entered the market with their loans. Uh, it may not have been advisable at the time they took, originally took out their loans based on pricing to get a fixed rate. That's right. What you'll find is that rates and products do vary over a period of time. <coughs> Excuse me. It may have been when you first took your loan out that variable rates were even more attractive and there was every expectation if you went back say three to five years that rates were going to were on the way down. They've now perhaps bottomed out with an expectation that maybe they're going to increase. So your circumstances have changed. Where you have the certainty of them going down, you've now got uncertainty with the prospect of them going up. So you you train of thought has to change and look at what is going to be happening in the future. Now, you probably, if you're the average home loaner, you're probably on about the four, three to four, five as a variable rate. Now that could go up a quarter, even half or more of a percent over the next 12 months. So if you get a, say, three year fixed rate in the low fours, say within four to four and a quarter, you're not any worse off than you currently are. You are better off. You've got the certainty of knowing that they won't go up. And some people might say, okay, what if rates go down further? Uh, yes, that is possible. The, you've got to be realistic and say that it's perhaps unlikely. It's the less likely of the two alternatives. If it did happen, you might find that for a short period of time, yes, perhaps your fixed rate can be better at some stage in the future, but you can only make your decisions on what the best advice is at the time, and you look at it as a form of an insurance policy. Now, no one guarantees you certainty without cost. So, yes. You might make a profit out of it. It might cost you a small amount, but you look at that as, well, that's the cost of certainty 
and a good night's sleep for the whole family. Okay, now this one's now this is another uh, concept as well. Mr. and Mrs. Client have been engaged with you, and they're talking about this, and they've said, "Well, we're not quite sure. We're wanting to put all our eggs in one basket and have everything fixed, just in case." Can we fix something and keep something variable or do a combination of that? Certainly, a, as it's referred to as split loan, is readily available through all of the major lenders. So what that means is that you might, for example, have a total debt of, say, 400000 You might like to say, OK, I want to put two hundred fifty of that on a three-year fixed rate and keep one hundred and fifty. dollars on variable. Now that might give you some certainty in knowing that if rates go up, then it's only going to go up on a small component of your loan and you're mitigating perhaps to a lesser extent the risk of rates going up, but it gives you some flexibility. Um, in selecting the term of your loan, what you should really be looking at, if, you, if you're going to fix your loan for one, three, five years, you, you've got to look at a crystal ball too and just say to your family, what is the likelihood of us making significant changes over the next, say, three years that you're fixing your loan? If it's likely, for example, that you're going to move into state and want to sell it within 12 months, then maybe you wouldn't look at a three-year fixed rate. You would perhaps look at a rate term that's commensurate with what your expectation is. If you only have two years of certainty, then maybe you fix it for a two-year period and keep some on variable. And in that way, if you, your circumstances change and you have to break that fixed rate term, then again, you're mitigating the level of cost that you might incur by breaking that fixed rate period. Excellent. And, and likewise, it, it is linked not only to what, as a risk mitigant, to what could be happening in the markets, but we need to make sure that your home loan strategy isn't in isolation purely to uh, the advice from the, the mortgage broker. It also really needs to be connected to the holistic advice of the accountant, uh, tax agent as well as the financial planner. There, may, there could potentially be uh, a certain strategy attached to that very property, for instance, where a five-year fixed term might not be appropriate. So we you might have, so potentially talk now, we've got the, the one security, we've got a split, and now we've got two, two securities. One might be the home, one might be the investment property, uh, talk through a scenario where you might fix one of those or have the other on the variable. That's right, okay. Well, if, whether you fix a interest rate for a period of time really depends on what your future strategies are, whether you're going to be making significant changes, whether, just, just for example, you might know that within 12 months you're going to come into a large sum of money from some magical source. I don't know what it is. I wish I did. But yet that might be in your game plan. You know that there are funds coming from, say, a family member overseas or something like that, and that you will definitely want to reduce debt within 12 months. So maybe you leave it on a variable rate so that you have the ability to do that at the appropriate time. And perhaps the remainder of the debt, which is going to be longer term, you put that maybe on a one, two or three year fixed rate. And there are other circumstances too. You might, for example, be wanting to increase your borrowings at some stage in the future. Having a fixed rate does not prevent that from happening. You can take out additional loans if you have the ability to service them, the ability to secure them, a fixed rate is not going to be to your detriment in those sort of circumstances. So you're really getting the best of both worlds. You're mitigating the cost of and risk of rate rises, but you're keeping some flexibility of change circumstances in the future. Fantastic. 
Very good points there. Uh, what, just as we, before we finish, just put that disclaimer again. Uh, if this is for educational and training purposes, for, to take, for, to, and it shouldn't be taken as advice. However, if you do have any questions, would like a uh, obligation-free consultation with one of our professionals, such as myself, Trevor, and would like to get your overall financial situation looked at by, by a team of brokers, financial planners and accountants, please call us on 1300 541 777. And also, if you think this video would be great for anyone else, please tag them in the post. Uh, and also, like our page and make sure that you stay tuned for, not for updates and receive notifications so we can help you achieve your financial goals. Thank you very much. Thank you.